Yo, what's going on, everyone? The Cool Geek here, and welcome back to Cool Geek Defense, a place where we geek out over martial arts and self-defense. I am an ISSA certified personal trainer, mixed martial artist, and future UFC champion. This video is the first video in a new series where I break down what you need to be a good fighter. Today, we're going to be discussing an important topic for martial arts, how to make sure you develop everything you need to be a good fighter. As you know, martial arts require physical and mental strength, which can be achieved through proper training and exercise. In this video, we'll be covering the importance of building general fitness, specific fitness, and mental strength and technique for martial arts. Before you can become an amazing fighter, it's essential to build a foundation of general fitness. This includes developing strength, flexibility, and endurance. Let's break down each of these components. Strength training helps in building a muscle and increasing overall body strength. For martial arts, it's essential to have strong muscles in your legs, core, and upper body, as these muscles are used in various techniques such as punches, kicks, takedowns, submissions, etc. Resistance training, such as powerlifting, which is weight training focused on pure strength, or calisthenics, bodyweight exercises like push-ups, sit-ups, bodyweight squats, etc., can help build muscle strength. It is important to have a good level of max strength, uh, aka the maximum amount of strength you can use at one time, and strength endurance, the amount of strength your muscles can exert over time. Flexibility training helps improving a range of motion and reducing the risk of injuries. Being flexible allows you to perform techniques that require a wide range of motion, such as high kicks in striking or guard positions in grappling, such as BJJ. Stretching exercises, yoga, and mobility drills are great ways to improve your flexibility. Endurance training, also known as cardio, helps in building cardiovascular fitness and stamina. During a martial arts training, your heart rate increases and your body needs to maintain that level of intensity for a prolonged period. Endurance exercises such as running, cycling, or swimming can help improve your endurance. After building general fitness, it's time to focus on specific fitness for martial arts. This includes developing explosive power, speed, and agility. These things are essential for doing martial arts techniques effectively. Let's dive into each of these. Explosive power is what generates quick and powerful strikes. It involves calling on as much strength as possible in a short amount of time as possible. Plyometric exercises such as box jumps, medicine ball throws, or jump squats are great ways to develop explosive power as well as hitting the heavy bag. Speed training helps in improving reaction time and movement speed. Fast and precise movements are crucial in martial arts, and practicing speed drills can help you perform techniques quickly and effectively. Speed training can involve various exercises such as sprinting, agility drills, or shadow boxing. Agility training helps in developing balance and coordination, which is important for evading opponents and delivering effective strikes, especially if you want to do flashy, spinny stuff. If you don't have any agility, you just flat out cannot do that type of thing. Agility training can involve ladder drills, cone drills, or footwork drills. Technique. Finally, after building a general and specific fitness, What's left is proper technique. You need to develop a focus on proper technique. Proper technique is crucial in martial arts as it not only helps in developing effective strikes, but also reducing the risk of injury, right? Who wants to win their fights and be crippled afterward? Here are some tips for developing proper technique. Practice regularly. Consistent practice is essential to developing muscle memory and improving technique. If you're not practicing regularly, you don't know what you're doing. Focusing on the basics. Mastering the fundamental techniques such as punches, kicks, and blocks is essential before moving on to more advanced techniques. As much as I love my flashy techniques and spinny kicky tricks, I know the basics are the most important thing. Because there's no spin hook kick without a basic hook kick, right? There's no spinning roundhouse kick without a basic roundhouse kick. There's no Superman punch without a basic straight punch. And last but not least, seek guidance. Work with a qualified instructor or coach 
that can help you identify your areas of improvement and provide feedback on your technique. I'm a big advocate of training at home and using instructionals, but an instructor can take you from being like top five on the streets to take you to being world class, right? So if you want to be an amazing fighter, you need a good coach. Now, the thing that a lot of people overlook, this is by far probably the most overlooked thing in all of martial arts, and that's mental strength. Aside from physical fitness and technique, mental strength is also crucial in martial arts. Mental strength allows you to stay focused, remain composed, and stay motivated, even in the face of adversity. Here are some tips for developing mental strength. Number one, meditation. Meditation is a great way to reduce stress and control your emotions, improve mental clarity. It can also help you stay focused during training and competitions. This is super important so you don't freak out in fights. Positive self-talk as well is super important. Positive self-talk involves using affirmations to build confidence and stay motivated. Telling yourself things like, I can do this, or I'm a strong fighter, or I'm amazing, can help you stay focused and confident. By developing mental strength, you can improve your overall performance in martial arts and handle the pressure of competition more effectively. Remember that mental strength takes time and practice to develop, just like any other skill. So be patient and consistent in your efforts. Without patience and consistency, you won't become mentally strong. Building fitness and technique as a martial artist is a gradual process. Developing the skills, techniques, and mental capacity that is required to be an amazing fighter is a gradual process that requires dedication and consistency. By focusing on building general fitness, specific fitness, technique, and mental strength, you can improve your overall martial arts skill and become a better martial artist. Remember to practice regularly and focus on the basics and seek guidance from a qualified instructor. If you want to see my last Muay Thai fight, click the video on screen now.